Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to go through the adjustment brush in Lightroom 4. Let's go ahead and take a look at this photo that I took over at St. Simon's Island. It is the tree spirits. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what the original tree spirit looked like. I'm going to go ahead and hit my reset button right over here. And that's going to take me back to my original image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the adjustment brush. There are two different ways to use the adjustment brush. If you click on the adjustment brush right there, the first thing that I like to do is I like to see my mask area. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to adjust my brush size using the left and right bracket tool on my keyboard. That's the one with the square brackets there. And as you can see, the little lines mean that there is a little bit of a feather to the brush. So what I'm going to do is right over in here, I'm going to bump up the saturation and make this just a tiny bit greener. So let's go ahead and paint those areas which are kind of green on the photo right in here. Those are some of the greener areas. Now what I like to do is go down here under the show selected mask and uncheck that right there. And then over here in the light gray box we can change some of the adjustments. Now I'm going to go down to saturation and as you can see it starts to make things a little bit greener in the background right there. Now that's really all that I want to do with that one. Now I want to go ahead and make a separate adjustment brush so I'm going to go and click new right over here. Like we did before I'm going to click on the mask overlay so I can see where I'm painting and then I want to make my brush just a little bit smaller and then I'm going to paint in this area right here where the bark is because I want to make the shadows a little bit lighter and I want to put some clarity in there so that you can see the bark a little bit better. So there we have it. That is the area. Now if I made a little bit too much right there I can hold the Alt or Option key down. It changes that to a minus sign right there and we can actually paint some of that away. Or if we let go we can add that back in right, right up here. I can hold the Option key down I can kind of paint some of that away. Then we're going to go and uncheck the box again and then I'm going to go into the light gray box right here and I'm going to bump up the shadows just a little bit to give it a little bit more detail there. I'm going to bump up the clarity some so that you can see the nice texture of the bark and maybe even a little bit of contrast right there. And then I can bump up the shadows just a little bit more with the contrast. Now the only problem is, as you can see over here, the face really isn't defined that much when I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to make one last adjustment right here and click on new. That will create another new adjustment brush. Go down over here under the mask overlay and then I'm going to paint the face in right here, right there. And remember you can always go over and hit the option key and you can erase some if you made a little bit too much of a selection there. Now we're going to uncheck that box. Now I'm going to go over to the exposure and I'm going to bump up the exposure just a tiny bit right there. I'm going to take some of those shadows out of there and then I'm going to add some clarity right there and a little bit of contrast. Now the clarity is going to go ahead and define the edges a little bit more and the contrast is going to make things a little bit brighter and a little bit darker. So I can go ahead and bump this up maybe another notch right over here and one last contrast or I'm going to do the clarity right there and I'm going to bump down the exposure just a tiny bit right there. Now I can come over here under the navigator and I can click on one to one so I can zoom in on the area that I'm working on. Then I can come over here and select the sharpness. Now if we wanted to we could go ahead and we could sharpen the entire image but I'm just going to sharpen just a little bit of that. When I'm finished I can go ahead and click done and then I can go back to over here where it says fit and I can see now that that's a very nice looking lighter area right here where you can see the face. The area is saturated right over here and then there's some nice texture over here in the bark. Now what if I just wanted to adjust just a tiny bit one of those brushes? Well we could go over here and we could click on the brush again and you'll see three dots. This dot was the one for as you can see as I hover over that that was the bark, that was the face 
right over here, and that was the green area right over there. So let's say I wanted to go over here and give maybe a little bit more clarity on the bark. I could click that. It would leave the little black dot over there. And then I could bump up the clarity just a little bit more, and maybe even add some sharpness to that right there. Now there's another way that we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and select reset right there and now I'm going to take you into another way. The other way is to come over here and select the adjustment brush and not worry about the mask overlay and then I want to add some exposure to this so I'm going to go ahead and bump up the exposure. Now what I can do is I can go in here and I can actually paint that exposure in there just like the dodge and burn tool and just do that right in there. And then I can come on over, maybe that's a little bit too much, I could go ahead and do that and then add some clarity just like we did before. Go ahead and bump that down just a little bit more. Once again, I could go over and hit new right over here and then select whatever it is that I want to select here for my brush. I'm going to zero that one out. Then I'm going to go over here and add some shadows right over there and then I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to paint in that area right over there. Now some people like to use my method where I go in there and select the mask with a little pink area and other people like to be able to go in here and then just change something over here and then paint it in and then adjust it as you go. So those are two different ways of using the adjustment brush in Photoshop Lightroom 4. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and most importantly, share my video with your friends. Cheers!